Hi everyone, welcome back to another segment of Five Minute Tea with the CBE. We're here with Rosie Santiago today. Hi Rosie. Hi. So Rosie's going to talk to us about how she uses make a movie in her math lessons. Rosie, can you tell us a little bit about where you teach, what you teach, and how you use Brain Pop in your lessons? Yes, of course. So I teach at Claremont Immersion School. It is a school in Arlington, Virginia. We're part of Arlington Public Schools. I am currently the Instructional Technology Coordinator at that school. Awesome. And what grades do you work with? I work with all grades, but last year I mostly worked with second grade and fourth grade. And so I understand that you use Make a Movie both with second grade and with fourth grade. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about what those lessons look like and how they're different depending on the grade level that you work with? Yes, I can tell you more about that. So in all grade levels, students are required to explain their thinking, um, show their understanding of math problems, and it requires some writing. So one of the things we have decided is to use um, make a movie to give the kids another way of them showing and demonstrating their understanding of different math concepts. That's awesome. Um, so what can you I mean, give us an example of a lesson that you did with your second grade class? So for second grade, they were working at mid-year. They were working on creating word problems and Towards the end of the unit, we decided to have them create their own math problem. Um, so they had a planning page, they planned on that page, they wrote the problem, and then we helped them create the same problem on Make a Movie. Cool, and so what does a fourth grade math lesson look like with Make a Movie? How does that differ from second grade? So the difference between second grade and fourth grade Fourth grade, we use um, the kids, depending on the teacher, um, they may opt to give it as an activity that all students are doing, or it is part of a menu, a choice board, where the students can select that as a choice of showing um, their work towards a math problem or a math prompt um, that they have been given in class. Do you have an example of a choice board that you might have used for um, student work or both? I do, I do. So I am going to start, um, which I should have shown before, is the sample of the final product of a second grade um, classroom of a student who worked creating a math problem and then this transfer into becoming a math problem that the teacher used at the beginning of the lesson, part of, of her morning meeting of the math calendar I say so the kids do not solve the problem here, they leave it open-ended and then the kids will work on that. So here it goes. Dear Moby, como creo un problema en forma de cuento from Angel. Había 100 peces, un tiburón comió 50, ¿cuántos peces quedan? That's amazing. Yeah. I can also share some of the things we do. Let's see here. Give me a second here. No problem. So while you're looking, what I really um, thought was cool with that example that you showed us was your incorporation of language learning within Make a Movie as well. Um, I would love to hear more about how you incorporate that into your lessons. So we incorporate it in many different ways. In second grade for Make a Movie, the teacher will use Make a Movie too. Um, if it's something we're going to be using in the math lesson in the mid or towards the end, the teacher will use Make a Movie as a tool to um, kick off her instruction of the math lesson, the math concept for that week. Um, also, one of the things that we like about Make a Movie at Claremont is how it allows the kids multiple opportunities where they're using the oral language of the target language of Spanish. They're also writing, they're collaborating with each other. So it allows them to make connections 
deeper connections to the content itself because the way they're collaborating with each other, they're using that academic vocabulary um, related to math and they're able to integrate their creativity with it, but it meets them where they at because if they need an image, they can pull the image from make a movie or they can go and draw. So it really helps them with that. So it meets each kid where they at. So it's a way of differentiating without the teacher having to sit there with the student and guide them so much and, and helping them get there, if that kind of makes sense. It does, absolutely. And what I also really appreciate about that is the fact that they have um, a menu. So you're also, um, there's an element of voice and choice with the differentiation that you're offering in your classroom. Um, if you have that handy, awesome. If not, we can yeah. all hello. For some reason, the make a movie does not want to stop. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Technical things, right? It happens. We can totally post um, an example of what that menu uh, looks like in our YouTube link below. So if you're interested, for those of you who are watching in what Rosie's menu looks like, check it out. Um, and maybe you can maybe like offer a description of what it is uh, really quickly um, before we part ways so that people have an understanding or if you have an understanding. I am going to see if I can pull up, let's see what this is. Here, on my phone. So I'm able to pull it up on my phone. Awesome. I know it's smaller, but you are going to post a, a link thing online. So it has aperitivos, which is appetizers, um, bebidas, which is drinks, plato principal, which is the main dish, dinner, and postre, which is desserts. And the students in fourth grade will get this as part of their learning station or centers, depending where you're at, what you call it. So they can go during the week, they'll get one, and they can select how they want to apply what they've learned that week. This one that we will be posting is one that we use for review in May. So you're gonna see a little bit of everything that we covered um, before our standard testing. So they're able for make a movie, they can go in and see a movie on mixed numbers and then complete the quiz, the revision quiz that's available, or they can go in and create a movie where they will have to define, it says, haga, make a movie, para ayudarnos a recordar la definición de factores o múltiples. So they can tell us a definition, give us examples and a strategy of how they will solve that or do that. Oh, that's so great. I can't wait to share that with the rest of the community. Oh, wait. Be that better or not, here you go. <laughs> To see here, but I'll definitely post it. Thank you so much for taking some time in your day, Rosie. Hang out the best in Google Hangouts. Um, let's toast to make a movie and math. Cheers. And Thank if you. any of you have any questions for Rosie, you can comment below and let us know if you um, have any other inspiration ideas for using make a movie for math and we look forward to hearing from you, the viewers, and hearing from you again soon, Rosie. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Bye. Bye.